how much should you be investing into Stash Invest? Stash. We're going to talk about three different topics. Should you be investing monthly, daily, or bi-weekly? How much money specifically in terms of percentage should you be investing? I will make a recommendation on what ETFs you should be investing into. On the topic of investments, you should be investing. You want to invest either. I don't think it's important to do daily investments because you're going to be buying ETFs yourself where on like acorns, you'll be that stack stocks will automatically get put in percentages. So I do myself, I do 20 bucks bi-weekly. You could do 50 bucks bi-weekly, 100 bucks bi-weekly, but I think it's more important to do either weekly, bi-weekly, and you don't wanna do monthly because you wanna make sure that you're doing, you wanna make sure that you're cost averaging those stocks or those ETFs. And so what that means is that you're gonna buy specific stocks either bi-weekly, weekly, or monthly. I would say I would recommend doing bi-weekly or weekly, whatever works best for you and what's ever more convenient for you is what really honestly matters. And I would not recommend doing it monthly or daily. Bi-weekly or weekly is what you wanna deposit into your stash account. So I'm all about percentages. Next, you wanna invest a certain percentage of what you make into stash. So what I do is I invest about 10% of what I make into stash, which you figure if you make around $2,000 a month, that means that you're gonna invest around $200 into stash. But well, that's what you wanna be setting aside. So if you have other accounts, then that's okay. You wanna take that 10% and put that into your other accounts and make sure that you're putting a percentage of that into your stash account. However, if you're solely on stash invest, then make sure that you're putting that 10% into that account and then buying certain ETS with that. You can, if you can afford it, always try to do more. If you can afford doing 15%, do 15%. That'll help you generate more money 40 years from now. 40 years from now. And that's when you're gonna be a millionaire billionaire because right now, in the next five, 10 years, you're not gonna be making those huge compound interest returns. But in 40 years, you'll be getting huge, and I mean huge, huge compound interest returns. And that's what really matters. And lastly, a few recommendations on what kind of stocks or ETFs you wanna be into. So on Stash, what I believe is the best ETF is delicious dividends. The reason for this is because dividends are gonna pay quarterly money back into your account that can get automatically compounded and reinvested into more ETFs. Where if you were to invest into other ETFs that do not pay dividends, that do not pay dividends, then, that 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 compound interest will not happen as quickly. Say some stock was to go up 12%, but you were still getting paid dividends on that. You could buy in more of that of that ETF or that stock to have cost averaging that would help you a lot better. Where if you only had a uh, ETF that didn't pay quarterly dividends, then you would never be able to reinvest money. You would only be able to cost average with your own money. Plus dividends help you hedge your account against the ups and downs of the stock market because you get paid whatever two bucks a month off a of dividend. So because you get paid $2 off in a thousand dollar account and you have a thousand dollars invested into a certain uh, ETF to delicious dividends over the course of a year, you'll make about eight bucks. Well, if the stock market goes down by eight bucks, you still have that eight dollars. So really, you could still you would still break even if it went negative eight dollars. However, if it was a uh, ETF that paid no dividends, when if it dropped by eight dollars, you would again lose eight dollars. And that's not fun. Anyways, if you like this kind of video, go ahead and let me know by hitting the like button. If you have your other questions for Stash, go ahead and comment down below so I can tackle them in another episode. And don't forget to subscribe up here, check out my other video on what is Stash, and then go ahead and check out this other cool video right about here. And until next time, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it.